Hello everyone and happy Friday. It is April 12th, 2024. My name is Kyle and this is Maker Notes. And Mrs. Olson is wearing a brand new design by Shayna Billow. It is called the Cherry Blossom Cape and it's super, super cute. It uses just a little bit of textured sort of patterning. It's very simple. If you know how to cast on and knit and purl and bind off, of course, simple increase, simple decrease, you'll be able to make this cape. It's worked in the round, starts um, up here at the top and increases as you go along and uh, it uses two different yarns, which we're gonna talk about. We have a kit. Um, we put together eight different colorways for you this time. So um, it uses two different yarns that are from Sheppel. I'm gonna show you the ones that are in this, uh, this sample here. This is called the Cherry Blossom Colorway. So the first yarn is Admiral, and this is uh, color 990. It's just cream, like a barely off-white, but it's, it's pretty much a white. Um, yarn. This yarn, as well as the uh, its companion, are both 75% uh, superwash wool, 25% biodegradable nylon, and each skein, these come in skeins, are um, 459 yards. So it's a 100 gram skein. If you wanted to, you could just make socks with this and have, you know, a pair of beautiful socks. Or Pair this, color 990, with color 1862 of the Companion yarn. So this is called Admiral. This is Admiral R. Druk. Admiral R. Druk is a sort of faux aisle patterned yarn. It does little striping and fun stuff. And when we put these two together, we can create something gorgeous like this. Or if you wanted to just make a pair of socks, one skein of this would be enough to do that, right? So this is the Cherry Blossom colorway, and in the kit, you will get one skein each of the color of yarn that, uh, that you like. And then you're also going to get the Cherry Blossom Cape pattern by Shana Billow. How are we getting this pattern? So Shana designed this for Scassell Collection, and um, it's going to be sent to you as a gift through Ravelry. We'll do that for you. We're also going to print a copy of the pattern um, and include it in your order. So we'll print it, put it in a protect page protector, and include it along with the yarn and all the other stuff that you, um, you order. If you don't have Ravelry or you don't use Ravelry, that's okay. We'll just um, gift the pattern to whatever email address you use when you check out. That way you have a digital copy either in your library on Ravelry or um, in your email, which you can download and then save wherever you save all of your digital patterns. So I showed you the Cherry Blossom colorway. I've got quite a few of these. Um, this is called Pebble Beach. So Pebble Beach starts with this solid. It's a beautiful gray. This is 9505 with Admiral, and we're pairing it with Admiral Ardruck color 2183. So that would be a really fun one. And you can see that this uh, patterned yarn starts with very, you know, it's very uh, gently used. I'll take this off of here and show you. Um, until we get to the very bottom when you get to see some of that striping. So this is the Pebble Beach colorway. That's the second one. Mrs. Olson, can we borrow this? So it's worked in the round. Uh, starts here, of course, at the beginning, and it slowly increases. So you can see that little bit of patterning there. And it's not really slip stitches, it's other little pattern stuff going on. Then you work a band of the plane, and then there's a little bit of um, the other color back and forth. And when we get down to the very bottom here, you can see the, uh, the final little bit. And that bit there that looks like it's multicolored, that's just the yarn doing all that, all that work for you. Um, where's the beginning and the end and the seam and stuff? That is right here. So that's the beginning and end of the round. So you'll have a stitch marker or something to let you know where that is. Um, and you'll be able to toss this on and it's super, super cute. So what if you want to make it larger? What if you want to make this um, like a bigger diameter for a larger body or whatever? You can totally do that in the uh, pattern. Shana gives us a point, a certain point in here where you can, you can increase by doing just extra rounds. Of course, that means extra yarn. So if you're going to make this a larger piece, you might buy um, two skeins. So 
of each of the colors. So you could buy a kit and a kit, and if you wanted to just add more of the solid, you can always just add one extra skein of a solid to it. So uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, well, I have, of course, all the other kit colorways here, but I'll just say right now also, these two yarns individually, so if you don't want to buy the kit, you can buy just the yarns and the yarns themselves, they're 15% off now through, um, through Sunday. So 15% off is fun on sock yarn. So this one is called Meadow. So this is Admiral, this is 6373. This is for all the green lovers, that would be me, paired with this fun one. This is color 1860. So these two will be really nice. It'll be a nice deep green, the main part that's up sort of close to the face. And then this fun uh, sort of gardeny looking, it reminds me of like a spring garden and herbs and new leaves and all that. So that will be the patterning that's down as we go along this beautiful um, show, cape. Cape. Did I call it a cowl before? Sorry if I did. I don't think I did, but maybe I did. Um, then this one is Midnight Sky. So black, color 880 is the solid for Admiral, and it's paired with this one here, which is a fun purples. It's got some oranges in it, and this is color 1863. So black yarn, bit of a challenge sometimes to knit with because it is sometimes hard to see. So great for knitting during the spring and summer when there's lots of light out during the day. And then at night, if you're at home, having a really nice um, directed light um, helps a lot. I have a, um, a little halogen-y spotlight. It's not halogen, I guess, it's LED, but it's a very um, focused light area that is right on my knitting. So as I'm working, I have a really bright area there, even if the rest of the room isn't super bright. Other colorways. This one is called Seaside. Seaside is color 4780, so it's this beautiful sort of turquoisey teal color patterned with um, Admiral Ardrock color 1745. So that's a very fun springy look. And then what else? Tulip Field. There's lots of colorways. I, we wanted to give you lots of options. This is 1774 and Admiral the Solid paired with 2184 which is probably my favorite colorway. This would make just awesome socks. On it. I mean, they'd all make good socks, but I love this one as a fun pattern sock. So this is 2184. Uh, this is the Tulip Field colorway. And then two more to go. So Aurora, Aurora, I know this might look black. This is actually navy, a super, it's called marine, very dark blue. This is 4485. And then the Admiral Ardrook is color 1744. So that's those two together. And then the last option we have here for you is, so that was Aurora. This one is called Colorful Cottage. So Colorful Cottage is 7705. It's this beautiful deep brown, and it's paired with color 1977, which is this one here. It's got some pretty um, blues and sort of rusty colors and a little bit of green in there and stuff. So that'll be really fun as well. Mostly sort of this deep brown color with just a little hint of colorful uh, patterning as you go along. So again, the kit includes one skein of each of these colors, and then it also includes the pattern. We'll print a copy included with your order. Super simple, easy to work. If you'd like to experience working on a pattern that's in the round and learning how to increase using different needles, changing needle size and the needle length and all that, this is a great one to do that. Also in this pattern, Shana has a series of tutorial videos. So anything that might be newer to you, chances are there is a video for that as well. And Shana is awesome at explaining how to do stuff. She's an incredible instructor. So that is the Cherry Blossom Cape Kit by Shana Bilo, Billow, sorry, Shana Billow. The next thing in here um, is the keeping with the cherry theme, this little Notions tin. So this is from our friends at Firefly Notes. I have just a handful of these, but since this is Cherry Blossom, why not talk about the little cherry Notions tin? This is the tiny tin, so it has a slide top. These are made by hand up in Canada by the folks at Firefly Notes. We love supporting them. We know you love their work. It is a really lovely uh, quality tin that will be perfect for holding those tiny stitch markers. Um, 
And if you'd like one of those, go grab it while you can. Then we have uh, the Appricate bag. So if you're looking for a project bag that will hold, I'm just gonna throw two of these in here, your project. This is large enough to hold the two skeins of, um, of Admiral and Admiral Ardrook for this project. The, um, the Appricate project bag has a copper colored zipper. And this of course is um, an image of the Appricate pattern, a cowl that I designed um, a little while back that is a really fun patterned um, bag. Has Little Maker's logo right down there. If you'd like one of these, you can grab one and this will keep all of your stuff nice and safe. The last thing in today, well, almost last, I'll tell you, there is a free pattern in today's newsletter. So if you are watching the video and you didn't get our newsletter, um, that is where you have the link and the hint that there is a free pattern. It is uh, the Steppin' Up Socks. Those are by Belinda Creech. And if you click on the link in the newsletter, or if you go on to Ravelry, you can search for it, but it's a little tricky to find. Uh, step in without the G, not stepping. Stepping up socks. Um, that pattern is free. Just add it to your cart, and when you do, it's going to be free through this weekend. Otherwise, it's a purchased pattern. It is a toe up sock. Uses, I think, a princess heel, so it's got a few um, different German short rows as well. Um, has a couple really fun techniques to give a try, and that is a free gift now through the end of the weekend. So if you don't want to make the cape and you'd like a new sock pattern. That's one that we are giving you uh, as a subscriber to our newsletter. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, the last thing, the beginning lace workshop. So Faina Goberstein is going to be teaching through Zoom a beginning lace workshop. So if you are um, curious about what lace knitting is all about, how to read the charts and navigate lace knitting, this is a workshop for you. We keep these very small and intimate, so um, you have the opportunity to spend one-on-one um, -on -one time, essentially, with a um, expert instructor. This is online through Zoom on Thursday, April the 25th from 5 to 7 p.m. Pacific, and uh, you can sign up uh, on, our, on our website. If you just click on calendar, you'll see that on the April 25th date or um, click the link in the newsletter and you'll be able to sign up there while there is space. And my friends, I think that's it for this beautiful Friday. I hope you have some exciting weekend plans. Hopefully there's knitting or crochet or something involved that's creative. Make sure you reach out to friends and family, as I always say, and I will see you again on Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.